If you think about the most famous preacher of the last century, one name stands out from any other. Billy Graham. The Billy Graham Crusades were worldwide and his influence was overwhelming. The man was known for his incredible public speaking and his political and social advocation was a huge voice in shaping the American consciousness. Now this man was loved by the world. And when it came to being of the world, the world knew him as one of its own. On March 31st, 1997, he had been on the air with another television ministry, Hour of Power, hosted by Robert Schuller. In this interview, he stated something that the world would love to hear. Tell me, what do you think is the future of Christianity? Well, Christianity and being a true believer, you know, I think there's the, the, the body of Christ, which comes from all the Christian groups around the world, or outside the Christian groups. I think everybody that, that loves Christ or knows Christ, whether they're conscious of it or not, they're members of the body of Christ. And I don't think that we're going to see a great sweeping uh, revival that will turn the whole world to Christ at any time. I think James answered that, the Apostle James, in the first council in Jerusalem, when he said that God's purpose for this age is to call out a people for his name. And that's what God is doing today. He's calling people for, out of the, the world for his name, whether they come from the Muslim world or the Buddhist world or the Christian world or the non-believing world. Uh, they are members of the body of Christ because they've been called by God. They may not even know the name of Jesus, but uh, they know in their heart that they need something that they don't have, and they turn to the only light that they have, and I think that they are saved and that they're going to be with us in heaven. Uh, what I hear you saying is that it's possible for Jesus Christ to come into a human heart and soul and life even if they've been born in darkness and have never had an exposure to the Bible. Is that a correct interpretation of what you're saying? Yes, it is, because I believe that. I've met people uh, in various parts of the world in tribal situations uh, that they had never seen a Bible or heard about a Bible and never heard of Jesus, but they believed in their heart that there was a God and, that, uh, and they tried to live a life uh, that was quite apart from the surrounding community in which they lived. This is fantastic. I'm so thrilled to hear you say that. There is a wideness in God's mercy. There is. There definitely is. This was not the only time Billy Graham ever expressed these types of ideas. Here in a 1978 article, he repeats the same sentiment. McCall's Magazine, January issue of 1978, page 158. I used to play God, but I can't do that anymore. I used to believe that pagans in far off countries were lost, were going to hell, if they did not have the gospel of Jesus Christ preached to them. I no longer believe that. I believe that there are other ways of recognizing the existence of God through nature, for instance, and plenty of other opportunities, therefore, of saying yes to God. Remember, this was arguably the most influential preacher of the 20th century, and yet the most famous quote-unquote pastor in the world did not know the gospel. If you know the Bible, you know that this is not what Jesus taught, and by this belief, this man taught another Christ. Jesus states, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And, for if you believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins, being the I am of the Old Testament. God himself. With how loved Billy Graham was, what does the Bible have to say about him? 
James 4 verse 4 Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Jesus also said, If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. If Billy Graham was such a friend of the world, was he really a friend of Christ? The gospel is that every person has sinned against the only holy God and deserves damnation in eternal hellfire for the evil they've done. The wages of sin is death. That wage cannot be paid for by good deeds, but the price has to be paid to the one who is only just and good. So, because we cannot save ourselves, God himself came down and died the way we all deserve to, paying for that price so that all those that believe in him who is Jesus Christ, can be saved because he loved you enough to do so. None are good. Only God is good. You cannot believe in a false God in the place of the only real one and live a half-decent life to earn your salvation. That is a false gospel. This belief of Billy Graham may have cost millions from hearing the true gospel as we are commanded to preach this message to even the ends of the earth. The question is, is that going to stop you from telling the world the truth?